Going to be having a problem having two badasses over there. No, no, no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey hey welcome back to the channel it's awesome that you're tuning in in today's video we are going to be doing and chit chat about this 15 dollar game star super tv game or in other words on playstation or ps1 clone yeah that's all kinds of weird stuff that you can find on retro game conventions now and this is one of the things i just needed to check out just check out here on the channel so let's do a little bit of an unsealing or at least uh, removing the plastic and of course that is going to be recycled they're doing a great job because the box is still in very good overall condition yeah that's actually what it is but this is kind of a weird system with oh man i love these weird boxes high-tech system 3d graphics and they even have stereo sound you know they're putting all kinds of shenanigans on these boxes to actually sell the crap because that is what it is most of the time so let's do a quick unboxing there's nothing much actually to see on the box itself and uh, different kind of, i do wonder what kind of let's say market it was for hmm, it's interesting so explanation about what you can do with the connection how you need connect it, and let's see what is inside Ooh. So we're finding in here the very cool, unique GameStar controllers. I don't know what kind of, let's say, clone it is, but we're having the ABC buttons, X, Y, Z, and a floating D-pad construction, select and start. Hmm. They, are quite, they are quite sturdy. There's nothing wrong with that. Two controllers. So, oh man, I love these weird multi-game cards. Yeah, na 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 nine in one. That is what you're getting. And you have all kinds of weird, okay, Street Fighter. Would this thing be on there? Tomb Raider, some soccer game. I'm guessing this is Contra. Uh, the quality of this shell. <laughs> it's really bad. And here we have it, the PlayStation 1 or the PS1. <laughs> they completely ripped it off when it comes to that. On an off switch. Two ports at the front and at the back we're finding and oh yeah we're having 3d graphics with an rf out we're having the com the yeah, i think that's the the tulip out and the adapter there is nothing much to say about the adapter so we have an rf where's the adapter ah oh, seriously oh man they Im didn't implement the freaking freaking Oh, this is such an downside and I have no idea what kind of juice we're going to be needing. Mm, this is going to be a problem. Oh, let's go further with let's say, a quick overview of some of the things. So we have this very strange looking light gun. Feels quite nice in the hand, I must say that. But what is going on with this? Like, is this a battery compartment or... Okay, wait, look at this. There is a mold for a battery compartment, but there isn't. I'm guessing they were using this for different kind of systems. They just have this normal plugged in. So let's see if this is actually going to be working. You can see the lens and let's see if there's an LED in there. However, let's get ourselves an adapter. Let's randomly put something in and hoping for the best it's going to be working. Uh, the only thing I can actually do is getting in universal. Um, we're not going to be using the nine volts. No, no, no. Let's start off with six volts. Let's do that first. So they're most of the time six volts or nine volts, if I'm saying it correctly. There are one of these. I'm hoping I have the polarity of the plus or minus in the right position. If this is not the case, there's no LED whatsoever, I'm guessing. So we need to plug it in and let's see if this thing is going to be doing anything. No smoke comes out of it. That's a good sign. So let's plug it in. <laughs> okay, so the worst thing is then we're going to be plugging it in. It automatically gives a signal. Okay, that's weird. That's really weird. So, oh, let's see if we can. But you know, it's kind of interesting that it does give already a power in signal or something going on because there's no, no juice whatsoever. So that is weird, really weird. All right, so let's start messing. Six volts. We do have any, some weird thing going on. It's kind of cool that there is a reset button in here. So let's plug in the cartridge with the gazillion games. That seems to be working fine. And we do have indeed a lot of built-in games. So let's check out. We're having, seems to be Wario. Okay, Pro Soccer. 
sport game, duck shoot. I'm guessing duck shoot. Yep, of course, it's duck hunt. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, long jump. Uh, okay, track and field is in here. So we do have like a lot of cool games. That is one thing. Sure, but the overall emulation performance seems to be, or emulation, or at least the, the overall gameplay itself is not bad at, at all. The control seems to be working fine. Let's reset, let's go back to the menu. So that seems to be all working fine. We have been yeveling. Uh, so when it comes to this cartridge, it's one big shenanigans going on because this is one double, double, double game. There's no Tomb Raider, there's not even a freaking like Street Fighter clone. So let's grab another cartridge and I'm gonna show you what I mean when it comes to Street Fighter because that is really cool. Haha! -ha! So let's plug in this super cartridge from AliExpress. And now we're having a serious collection of different games you can actually play. So yep, there are all kinds of cool games on here, including the very cool arcade version of the turtle, but the controller itself, it feels quite comfortable when it comes to that. So I'm quite surprised by it. Let's crank up the volume itself. That seems to be working just fine. Okay, let's lower the brightness, look the image a little bit better. But so far, so good. I don't really understand why we do have six freaking buttons because that is making no sense whatsoever. Turbo buttons is one. Yeah, there you're running Paul system itself. The D-bed is quite comfortable actually. Uh, okay. Okay, so this is the turbo button. So, okay, wait, that's interesting. Oh, see, you actually have like different turbo modes. So this is slow turbo. And this is super fast turbo. Oh, that is kind of cool. But let's reset. Everything seems to work fine. One of the things I find very surprising is that we do have, let's say, a good connector in this thing. Plug it in, automatically, first go, it works like a charm. So that is just freaking awesome. Street Fighter, 60 people. <laughs> uh, one of the things I do wonder, like can I actually do some fighting moves on this freaking controller? Because it, it feels quite nice. Let's see if the computer gives me a chance. No. no. Of course the freaking computer doesn't give me any chance doing anything. Freaking bastard. However, so when it comes to this, see we're working just fine. But let's go into the, of course, the control test with the D-pad to see how accurate it actually is. And it's going to be interesting to see... Oh crap, I com completely forgot. Yeah, that was the wrong stage. That's not the one I wanted to have. So let's give this thing a reset. But it is fully running on the PAL system. That is one thing to be sure with this game start device. Okay, so let's see. We're going to be using the instant cheat mode. Okay, that is kind of weird. So we're, we're using this button and automatically jumps. <laughs> But wow, this controller is quite accurate when it comes to that. I must say that I can really enjoy myself this, like the game like this. Absolutely awesome. And well, now we're actually into the weird stuff. Let's get into some Tekken 2. Yep, there is a Tekken 2 game on the NES. Of course, we have a pile of double characters in here, like always. The same with the Mortal Kombat 1. But let's see how this actually works out. Oh. Oh, wait, now it starts up. We are having two freaking buttons to actually do anything. <laughs> I do wonder, are people out there really enjoying this? I cannot really enjoy this. You know the NES? Come on. It's funny that he actually made it, but I can't enjoy the stuff like this. The other thing I wanted to check out is how does it actually work with the Duck Hunt game. Oh crap, I completely messed up with that. Yep, 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 I completely forgot that I need to plug in the controller. Then I need to use the light gun itself. Yeah, I touched the freaking control. The con yeah, I completely messed it up with this. Attempt number two. So I've been plugging in the second controller, so we don't need to remove that anymore. Let's plug this thing in. Okay. No. I think that was the way how you went. Or do I need to do it reverse? 
Oh wait, I completely forgot. Is it not like we need to plug in the controller? Plug it in like that, controller port two. Then we're going to be not using that piece of crap. Managed to get it working. Okay, so let's start the game with controller number two. That's plugged in. <sighs> okay, let's see if this thing actually works. I do feel a click, everything works. There we go. I feel like James Bond. Woo! It's easy working, fine. Oh, that is cool. Come on, there we go. A little bit further. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Man, this thing is easy mode. Let's put it a little bit further. Why do I have the feeling I can actually point on anywhere? Let's see what happens. Okay. But I did have this, let's say, a similar experience when it comes to the... Let's see, let's put there. Okay, no, no, it's, it's actually like working. So, okay. So when it comes to this particular game, that's kind of cool. So let's see if you can... I don't know if I have any games, other games that I can actually use. <laughs> Man, this is really easy mode. Let's put a little bit further. And let's clear the stage. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, let's play this game. Oh man, this game is so much fun. I have like the turbo button so I can actually cheat. So one of the things that's really important is the D-pad. So but these controllers are really cheap. I can enjoy it. Okay, there we go. No, crap. The freaking controller has a negative effect on this because of the the freaking turbo is not fast enough. There's a little bit of a delay when it comes to booting up. But when it comes to playing on these things, they can be a lot of fun. And the overall image quality is not bad. As I'm going to be looking on this, let's say CRT, of course, it's going to be slightly different if we're going to be playing this in an LCD TV. But if you want to enjoy some old school games and take note, if you have no power supply, get yourself a six volt. That's most of the time where these things work on. Going to be having a problem having two badasses over there. No, no, no. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But a part of me really loved these weird clone devices because it's so funny to see what they actually made in the day. So like GameStar, they completely ripped off the case and the reset button on the knees is even more like a fun novelty. However, let's do a quick teardown. Uh, let's see if I have a screwdriver laying around. Let's see if I can open it up, yep. So construction wise, when it comes to the case, it's not like super bad. It's unfortunate that the adapter was not in this kit, but it is absolutely not the first one. Maybe it already like, I've been thrown away because some of these, let's say, and you need to be careful with this because the power supplies with these things are really horrible. Or maybe they were like one on a 10 volts because sometimes when you're looking at these power supplies, they're not like multi-region, they're just in certain region locked. But let's open it up and let's see what kind of stuff we're getting in the inside. I also found it interesting to see the date and other kind of weird things. Let's lift it up. Always be very careful and with a simple reason. Sometimes there is an LED or something attached to it and you will rip it and it will be a shame because the system itself seems to be working just fine. So the overall quality of the spring and everything is not super bad. I'm quite surprised of it. Like it's not a cheap plastic chemical. It's kind of weird that they put this piece of tape in there. Okay. But here we're having the internal part, so it looks really old. Oh man, look at this, how this PCB looks. Like, I don't know what... That one would say it got some water damage or so. Look at this. Like, how filthy it actually looks. And also very old. Okay, we're having capacitor over here. Everything seems to be working fine. So that's one of the things I had, like, a different voltage of polarity. Sometimes these things go up in smoke. But that's it, FKA12, there's nothing much in here. But also kind of weird that I had this idea that was there something going on when it comes to, let's say, a game built in. There is black blob underneath, so I'm guessing there is something of a thing going on. But there was no production tape whatsoever. Micro switch, enough switch, some capacitors on there. Am I going to be looking at it? There is no production date whatsoever. No, that's it. It looks really old, so I'm guessing this is not one of those newer produced Chinese clones. So let's put it back together. And that's it. 
All right, so normally I would love to throw these things around, but not going to be doing it because everything seems to be working fine. So there is no power supply, that's unfortunate. This would be a multi-game card that is more fun in the collection whatsoever. But besides that, there's nothing special on here. So the cartridge is very cheap quality. It's absolutely hideous. So if you're going to be getting, grabbing one of those things, like say this Super Game 360 from AliExpress, and you're going to be combining it with this thing, we'd have like an overall fun time. And also if you're going to be playing some light gun games, this thing is quite, I say, comfortable to hold in your hand. It's not like really cheap. The only downside is that this thing keeps sliding off. But besides that, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, give this video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. And there will be near. Just great to see you in the next video. Yeah. <laughs> Yahoo.